Okay, welcome to basic animation in Python 3. This is part two. Uh, in part two, we're going to go ahead and uh, change this so that we're using a function, which will come in handy later. So this is fairly straightforward. Um, all we wanna do is take this code here and make it into a function. Okay, so watch what I do here. Uh, so I'm gonna define the function. I'm gonna call it player underscore animate. Again, if you don't know what a function is, uh, this might not be the right tutorial for you. You need to go back and learn some of the basics uh, before you can move on to these things. Um, so all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and copy this out of here and paste it. Okay, And then I'll take this out and in the function, I'm going to call player animate. Okay, so I'm going to call that function. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and hit function F5 in Genie. Other programs, it's different. It might be command R, depending on what kind of computer you're on, etc. So let's run it. And again, the animation's still working. Okay, but what I want to show you here is this. So if I put in here a print statement, so print, uh, you know, main loop. So we know the main loop is running. So if I run this, so notice how main loop is executing about every second, okay? Because the animation is going every half a second. Okay? So this is clearly not what we want to happen. And the reason is that if this is using time.sleep, that stops the whole program, not just the not just the player's animation, stops the entire program. So if you have a game and you've got a player, you've got enemies, you've got stuff flying around, um, it's not gonna work very well because of this reason. Uh, because you're using time.sleep to stop the entire program, okay? That said, what I've done here is I've taken some functionality out of the main loop and I've put it into a function, which is usually a very, very good idea, okay? So in next couple installments, we're gonna learn how to fix this and do things so the animation keeps going without interrupting the flow of the rest of the program. So that was a quick one, I'm gonna stop there.